So stay tuned because you know the utilities don't sleep um, it, as they're figuring out all the different ways to increase the, our bills. And so we shouldn't be sleeping in trying to fight back against that. So again, uh, before yeah, we leave this segment, mm -hmm. uh, tell us again what the GBWire unfiltered audience can do uh, both for November 2nd, uh, which is the uh, solar rates, Yep. change, quagmire, what is it called, bait and switch, or whatever you want to call it, and also for uh, execution or implementation of AB 205, which will be sometime next year by CPUC. Right. So you should call or email your legislator and say, hey, repeal AB 205's solar tax, because they could do that before the PUC makes a decision next year. They could do that when they come back in January, and they should, because now that we, now the utilities have put their proposals for this monthly utility tax on the table, they are egregious, unwarranted, and unnecessary. So the legislature should just repeal that middle of the night piece of the trailer bill. Um, and then two, on the let's stop solar for schools, farms, and uh, apartment buildings, you should email the PUC and say, you submit a comment. This is outrageous. Don't do it. It doesn't make any sense. And it really is, um, it's going to kill schools' abilities and farms' abilities to really um, have any cost savings from the solar that they put in or the solar that they plan to put in. It's just crazy. But also, let your legislature, let just let your legislator know about that too, because not all legislators are following, you know, very closely what's happening over at the PUC. So really, this is a coordinated effort to just squeeze people's ability to, to make their own power from solar and make any money from solar, cut their electric bills from solar, to keep us captive customers paying through the nose to PG&E.